a brief description of the incident uh, as I described one here they did not want me to report this because they were certain some people are certain I'm gonna make a mistake that uh, it's a setup too much by the police etc etc um, and uh, some others had a real problem because uh, I don't know whether they were really really related to the driver of this ambulance vehicle uh, they definitely didn't want him anywhere on the picture I really don't know what's going on um, one or the other uh, the driver itself was affiliated with the Serbs this is a Muslim uh, it's a Bosnian a Muslim uh, based on my view when he took me to Bosnia to meet his family during MK Ultra, uh, this guy really was a Muslim like totally non-affiliated with the Muslims but inside of our house where Svetlana Bros on occasion also would visit uh, this individual completely declared himself as her supporter uh, in fact as somebody who would um, definitely side with her especially if I would ever say anything against her uh, definitely side with her he apologized to me uh, this individual literally apologized to me and that uh, how he would be the one uh, unfortunately that he would be the one that's what he continued to repeat for like before the 2008 that he will be the one that he will be the one uh, he took upon himself very very seriously uh, my promises for the torture he performed on me uh, obviously it did not lay it didn't go well down with him when I promised him I'm gonna give him a good beating when I meet him in person he didn't like that a bit Oh, he's got a, such a specific face he did go and he rolled the window down when we exchanged the language uh, my asking him primarily why he did that because to me of the interest was why he did this basically the same shit like a police who stopped me on a right hand turn uh, where the green sign was indicating the arrow without the green sign uh, intersection where the green uh, where the arrow with a green sign was missing but it's what where the police rehearsed over and over again it's something i mentioned in the blog already the right turn uh you're gonna find this on my blog it's titled the right turn uh for i don't know 30 years more than that uh, the same same identical shit happened with this incident and so I stopped the vehicle right there and I wanted to know why he did this stuff because of my interest is why he did this what I wanted is I wanted him to understand that he is identified I wanted him to understand that under no meaning not only him but police who did this I am going to go out of my way to accommodate police or ambulance vehicle, health department, anybody, absolutely anybody in MK Ultra procedure against me. Anything that will be rehearsed, whoever will be rehearsing the MK Ultra will be pulled over and charged. Video recorded, audio recorded, and I will follow on. I will follow up on individual till I'm gonna destroy one that's my promise that's an oath anything you're going to do any any crime you're gonna rehearse in front of me just know the day is gonna come when you're gonna to have to face me I don't think it's pleasant to be pulled over 
ask question for something that you are using, in fact, to prove that something is wrong with me, that I see things that don't exist after being labeled as a schizophrenic in 2012. by the people who are involved in torture against me in my entire life police fire rescue medical workers judges courts and of course the private parties criminals whom they have hired to uh, get whatever they possibly needed for such offense Whoever is going to do offense is going to be audio recorded, video recorded. If you're not going to be confronted right there, right then, no. The time will come when you will be confronted. You will be confronted by the police. You will be met by the police. That's guaranteed. And you will be met by the court. And finally, you're going to be in the jail. And more is going to happen. If you're going to go and you're going to do this, as a matter of fact, whoever did that stuff, wh whatever the fuck you pulled, just understand that after every audio recording, it's a comment I place. So, if I somehow did not video recorded you, and you were in MK Ultra and you pulled the dirty stuff, it's coming at you. This individual, what he had to say basically is that I uh, said so this is this is the best thing for me would be to just go uh, and demonstrate you exactly what happened because this here this stuff here is well 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 demonstrated. Now, this guy craved for a psychiatry. He wanted to see me dead by the psychiatrists. Uh, so the incident took place not too far from the hospital where they dispatched them from. That's a general hospital Novo Mesto, which is located right here uh, and the crime took place right here that's basically just like a few meters away from it right isn't it I mean not too far from here This is where they dispatched them from. And we were talking about maybe 850 meters from the hospital, which doesn't mean anything anyways. Upon investigation of the incident, I'm going to tell you exactly what happened. Uh, the speed here, the speed limit here, um, in my opinion, by the ambulance vehicle was inappropriate that's one thing the ambulance vehicle was ascending uphill uh, when I was making my uh, left turn as I came just the way you see it in this direction here uh, pay attention to this uh, I'm sure that you see here where how you can even turn inside but the thing is that I am used to making a police type of turns, like a police does the same type of uh, the way the police are using the cars. And that's basically you would continue, 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 and you kind of already would go past this. That's where you would make a sharp turn and go straight into the area or strictly to your side so what you see here this here it's in my case completely out of question now the truth is the car was in the second gear i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you exactly what gear the car was i don't have a problem with this stuff this here I don't do this stuff here. I don't do this kind of stuff because because of many issues. Because I feel that the proper way really is to enter uh, 
the area like this you know like this basically here you cannot go and you do this under the 90 degrees but police does this police officer would do this stuff like this they'll go and they do 90 degrees why do the police do this this is for the safety reasons this is a stuff that's done to avoid uh, the people who frequently so what I did was something like this you know because really I was in a second gear that's true um, people frequently what people frequently do is they will come and they'll just go up here like uh, cattle basically and when you do the stuff like this there's a lot of bad drivers out there on the road uh, you more often than not you find you could you could find yourself in a problem people are stupid and people drive all the way sometimes they go even further like this it depends on the road you know and this is a violation but people will not recognize this is a violation they will not see this as a violation they don't understand that as a violation they don't understand even the practical part about it how dangerous this stuff is that you can cause incident like this well I watch this stuff very closely because of the type of relief of the road itself we have in the area I am in a constant observation people making uh, they go further they go basically they go further than what they should go they are not paying attention to reality how you're closing the road actually to somebody that with your conduct that has the right to turn has the right to turn to make turn here let's say like this but he cannot make the turn because of your because the way you basically block the road and stuff like this and if he would make the such stuff he would oftentimes he would crash into the car so I don't do that kind of stuff I do it more professionally I do it exactly the way I explain I also have a CE license CDL license that's a CE license in Slovenia tractor trailer operator from the States without one single incident ever without one single accident without one single not accident but without one single scratch ever I would have anywhere using the truck with exception to the park in Slovenia where I went to drive briefly for an operator who was involved in MK Ultra and was compelled to drive in Ljubljana is no, I don't even know um, industrial park it's industrial it's a small fucking industrial park and the owners who expected or they were there to expedit the merchandise they would not come and greet me despite me making fucking phone calls and circling around the area and searching for the address in the buildings where there were god knows how many different owners consolidated owners and so what it was was that I was turning around and turning around in a fucking park for one hour till I actually did um, cause damage to a like yeah you see the fence here you see the fence it's like you know not the fence but just the stabber I don't know how you say that uh, a pillar basically small pillar something that costed me a day off work pain compensating people for it that's the only thing I ever had and it definitely was it was probably one hour and a half maybe even two hours that I have lost in that fucking little park because the owners 
the workers would not come out, greet me, assist me. They all were involved in MKUltra, entire industrial park. And that's the only thing I ever had. But here is what I got to say. This isn't about what I started this subject here. This is about something else. As I made my turn inside here, which, well, uh, my turn, my turn most likely was, today my turn most likely was something like, something like this, probably, I would say. Very, 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 totally, totally legitimate. Um, <clears throat> today it was like this. Regularly it would be probably really really something even like this okay today i was in a second gear but this is important stuff because when i when i entered inside here uh all of a sudden in front of me it's a ambulance vehicle that popped up so i think that this ambulance vehicle uh, was quite uh, expedited but the thing about it is this driver trained himself on this road to do just exactly what he did today for quite some time I know that because of this incident first time took place in 2008 that's long time ago with what became finally even a director of the normal master police Jursic what this guy did was exactly according to MK Ultra scenario and it immediately squeezed my nerve. As soon as I saw it, all I wanted to know is why you did this. That's all I wanted to know. He went with the ambulance vehicle. As you see here, this is a solid line like this. Uh, actually, I might be even capable, right? Maybe to turn inside like this and we're gonna see this from another no it doesn't it doesn't show the solid line here but it does show one from uh, from the other from this from here it de it demonstrates one yeah. yeah yeah so I go back here to this issue uh, it's about this line here I'm gonna paint one paint one so you can see this it's about this here that's what it looks like you know um, let's see precisely what it looks like uh, is it like this like this this will be okay uh, if I do it like this uh, it would be okay uh, and it's like this because if I if I would continue it would go like this which is a logical thing because you know it's like a little turn here right but the thing is that the ambulance vehicle it is something I didn't like I don't like ambulance vehicles at all because of being stalked by ambulance vehicles as you know I'm frequently stalked by the ambulance vehicles they continue to stalk me and there also was there also were other uh, traffic also incidents with uh, ambulance vehicles in which police also was involved there was another traffic incident uh, at the hospital at the bridge for instance uh, which took police to rehearse ungoingly rehearsed over and over and over to the psychiatrist couch something that happened in 1990 that was 2001 2001 2000 99 between 99 98 and 2001 something like this 2099 it all started 98 with the police uh, identifying police investigator getting some ambulance driver on board also and they started to just create incidents just out of fucking nothing this incident was the incident in which in which Jursic was personally involved 
the incident I'm talking about that also came to life beginning in 1998 and what police started to rehearse actively is located next to the bridge next to the hospital which go across the Kirka River bridge they started to actively rehearse the incident during the traffic with me inside of the ambulance vehicle inside of the police vehicle at the bus stop beginning the 2001 and this shit went on for the next almost 20 years until until 2018 something like this so that's about 20 years 98 to 2018 that's about 20 years this is not the only incident with the with the with the ambulance vehicle that was involved in MK Ultra. But as I stated, I'm determined about this stuff. You gonna do something about this stuff? That you gonna play with me? That you think you gonna that you can and you will and you want to earn money with it? You will not. It will cost you. The ambulance vehicle came like this. Uh, the ambulance vehicle emerged through here. He was across the white the white line he was like this and he came like this and he emerged to uh, to uh, to where it should be on the first place basically that's on his side of the road yeah now the driver did give me the instructions he did give me the breakdown about uh, how if I will report one everything will be wrong with me that this is actually the way it is maybe they did some brainwash they definitely did brainwash on him but this guy is a criminal this guy is de facto criminal uh, he wanted me not to report him obviously for this stuff he was certain that if I report him uh, from his point of view how he wanted to deter me from pursuing this he claimed that as an ambulance driver that there is some kind of vehicle like this that there's no other way actually to come up the hill and do it any other way that as an ambulance vehicle because it's a such a narrow road that you just have to do this that maybe is the possibility I'm not going to even say that that's not possibility even that my CDL commercial license skills tell me clearly that you do not need to do this stuff like this not necessary you would go and do this stuff like this and I'm gonna say to you straight right now I don't give a fuck about you doing stuff like this I wouldn't even care I wouldn't even pay absolutely any kind of attention to this stuff but because because it was MK Ultra, because it's the same thing like the right turn in front of the store Euro Spin in Jabi Vas. You know, just because of this I will fuck you. Just because of this. Just because of because you said you will, and I said I will fuck you. I promised you then I will fuck you too. And it's too bad that you were inside of the car at the wrong place at the wrong time. That's all there is to it. If you were other driver, I didn't have any problems with the personal vehicle drivers, anyways. But I, uh, you know, I'm really careful with the with the police cars. I keep my eye on the police cars, and I keep my eye on a on a on a ambulance vehicles. If you are somewhere and you will do in front of me something that was from MK Ultra, I will fuck you. I will make sure that I'm gonna fuck you. Make no mistake about it. Don't play in front of me. Don't play with me. And so this vehicle, this vehicle, this driver, what's also why I don't like this guy is he went on to further lie. That's why I took time about this here explain about the turn how I do the turn what type of turn I do you know and I, I explain to you why I do this kind of turns why I do this kind of turns um, claimed 
literally claimed because I stopped here, this place here, something I shouldn't have done. But I really don't care because it's about other issues. It's about the same thing like the right turn I have made at Jab Jabia Vas, you know. I stopped right here, like this. I stopped right here. I stopped right here like this and I wanted to know I wanted to know why is it that he did this all I wanted to know is why why you did this you have you have the side you don't you know there is a middle line right there and all I wanted to know why why you want to do I wanted to see who this guy is what is what is this about what is what are you trying to tell me with this stuff because there's no fucking day that i would go to home for elderly or any fucking place that i would not have incident with the with the ambulance vehicle so i now i wanted to know about this stuff so now if you're gonna go and you're gonna go across the line in front of me and stuff like this you are you are for me you're disrespectful all the ambulance drivers were involved in torture that's another thing. Every fucking one of you drivers was involved in physical torture during MK Ultra. So I'm not giving you any kind of respect for anything. So what I wanted to know is why you did this stuff. So, you know, he stopped here. He merged here and uh, he did not recognize he did anything wrong with it. He did not recognize he did absolutely anything wrong with it. And he further made a claim that the way I make a turn, the left turn, uh, he made a claim that it was inappropriate, that it was not done according to the traffic rules. Now, I do have the proof that it was done according to the traffic rules. Now, it is my word against his word because he... Uh, did not recognize that he did go across the uh, solid, even solid uh, white line just as he doesn't have any kind of proof that I did go, I did make the wrong left turn or something like this. Uh, something that I believe especially because of this issue here this stuff here this here because of the play with the cameras something I did not finish here writing yes Uh, I am very, very 100% in myself without absolutely any doubt on my mind that I did whatever I supposed to. I ain't gonna be fucking taught by some ambulance driver how to operate vehicle. They do have also commercial, they are obligated to have a commercial driving license, but you don't have inside of your head enough to convince me that I have made the wrong left turn today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze the button and I'm going to force my way to see the video recording for which police claimed. They claimed since 2010 that they had the ability, that they had a camera in place where any kind of a left turn, inappropriate left turn could be video recorded. Uh, so I do love to see because he made a statement, he made a verbal statement that it was wrong with my left turn. There was nothing wrong with my left turn. I, I, I even have the proof that there was nothing wrong with my left turn. 
I even have the proof there was nothing wrong when I left him. He claimed that he has a camera that he can prove that he did not make anything wrong. Well, he did wrong. He can't prove shit because my eyes saw very good that his driving was inappropriate. Like I said, it wouldn't bother me. It wouldn't, it wouldn't trigger even any kind of attention. Um, me, personally, I, I go out of the way. I'll move you out of the way. Uh, any kind of car, anything, what I do is I move out of the way. I'll go away. I'm not the person who, who has some kind of episodes that will go into the cars. But I honestly do not like police vehicles in Slovenia. I honestly do not like ambulance vehicles in Slovenia. And if I have to move you out of the way, you're going to be in a fucking camera. You understand? If I had to move you out of the way because I know that I drive the way, the proper way, you're going to be on a camera if I have to move out of your way. That's all. That's the only thing. I didn't like that. It was involved in MK Ultra. It's equivalent to the scam with right turn semaphore light and when I'm gonna move you out of the way when I'm gonna when, when I'm gonna when I'm gonna give you ambulance vehicle out of the way when you're gonna be doing stuff like this when I'm gonna be doing that you're gonna be on a camera oh yes of course when you have the emergency lights on and everything everything is normal according to the traffic but if you were involved in MK Ultra and you're gonna rehearse, you're gonna play with it. You're gonna be on a camera. There, there is no doubt about it. The other incident also, the other incident was just located down the road here. Um, these were the incidents that police pushed literally physical violence during MK Ultra. They literally they literally push, pushed issues uh, to degree of you know where where you would just explode and, and uh, um, you know have a problem literally with the ambulance drivers. This is basically where I was coming this way. like this and I had ambulance vehicle uh, at this intersection right there not moving anywhere not making his move basically um, briefly described I came somewhere here uh, and you you know what was it Yeah, probably about something like this. Uh, and then I would have, uh, what was it, ambulance vehicle, uh, take a screenshot. Uh, simply simply disrespecting me uh, by cutting right in front of me basically uh, I didn't like that stuff either because the ambulance vehicle the way the ambulance vehicle uh, approached the intersection uh, again was uh, according to the police protocol uh, police protocol requires you due to the stop sign which is right there for you to approach the intersection up to here then and there is a solid uh, white stripe right there that's the stripe that's basically where you have to stop make a stop uh, and of course uh, upon no pedestrian on any side of the sidewalk uh, you do have the right to move to the area where you from where you can move safely uh, make that turn but still, um, that doesn't give you the right to 
fuck somebody you know uh, somebody that you abuse during MK Ultra. I'm gonna explain to what degree to cut off in front of especially if you see that that he's got that he's got a, a decent speed that is okay that is enough decent speed even that that's something that I was taught is gonna be literally evaluated by the police uh, observing from the area it's even when I was told that this vehicles from ambulance have uh, side cameras even the stuff I was told even that kind of stuff I was told uh, and I was told don't even try this kind of stuff because complain about this stuff because it's um, it's gonna be police literally measuring and your speed and the distance and everything so it's gonna be everything uh, proper and so on and so forth um, uh, this vehicle was moving uh, and was uh, I don't know moving and again it was like something like this it was again moving and then it was moving a little bit more and then it basically cut right in front of me and during MK Ultra, this incident evolved into repeated uh, physical confrontation right here at this bus stop, uh, for which they anticipated. They actually anticipated that that I would I would have literally during MK Ultra they rehearsed me. They rehearsed me with the drivers literally drivers sitting inside of the vehicle with the police with literally at the bus stop insulting me that I'm mentally ill and so on stuff like this it did develop into something else it did develop into into my asking the ambulance driver I wanted to know who the fuck this guy is and it was again the guy who was involved in MK Ultra. so incidents like this are Stalking with the vans, with the with the ambulance vans, and even the scenario from MK Ultra, which involved. So this is just uh, very, very, very short, very like 900 meters from here. Uh, this ambulance vehicle, because I was concerned about this stuff. You know, I know something little about this driving. I'm not from yesterday. I know a little about something about this driving, commercial driving and driving in general. I wanted to know what the fuck goes on. So I went to the receptionist and I asked the receptionist, was this vehicle driver, because she was involved in this stuff also, uh, she did exactly according to MK Ultra brainwash. She didn't want to give me the information from beginning, claiming that it's because of the private residents that cannot give me information and so on. Just making it a little bit more interesting, the whole thing. Um, she didn't, she wouldn't want to give me, right? Because if, why did I do this? Why did I want to know? The next thing I wanted to do is, I wanted to know where this ambulance vehicle came from. And so, you know, if he would be coming from this garage here, I wouldn't mention any of this stuff. I wouldn't mention any of this stuff because even that I should, even this would be inappropriate, by the way. As you exit this, you are to drive on your own road. You are no, you're, you're, you're not allowed to. You see, there is a full line right there. There was really no reason for this guy to be even a little bit on the other side of this line. But like I stated, it's because of the other issues. It's, it's because of other issues. Because you will not fuck with me. That's why it is. It's because you will not fuck with me even a little bit. Even the 10 centimeters across the line, you will not in front of me. If it was involved in MK Ultra, you will not. You will not go un unpunished. You will not. You will not get away with even smallest thing. There was time when I did not video record anything I was brainwashed with during MK Ultra, And what people bombarded me with around me, including my parents, mom and so on at home. There was time when 40 years would pass without my deliberately paying no attention to absolutely anything.
Then it was time when I started to pay attention to this stuff. But I, there was still a lot of other stuff that had to be done, and I have done it. All the work I did on my website, it can be seen. And I still did not video record the stuff, because I couldn't afford myself. Even in Poland, there was a lot of stuff. It was just I didn't have the money to buy myself a hard drive to have things where I would be having things stored and so on, because there was so much shit that went on. And then the time came when I started to pay attention to the small things, to every fucking thing that was involved in MK Ultra like this, any fucking incident, no incident will go unnoticed. I will fucking video record, report you for absolutely everything you're going to do. Uh, what you do is, you're going to see on the court what the fuck you do with this. If this uh, car would be coming from this direction, I would not mention anything about it. I would still not mention anything. I would still look across the fingers. That's fine. I would, I would just let it go. But the vehicle was not coming from here. The vehicle was not coming from here. According to the receptionist that absolutely was scared for her life when I asked her these questions. She was scared for her life. She's afraid of this police and hospital and all that stuff. The vehicle was coming from here. This was the frequent location when, where the ambulance vehicle drivers were also involved in crime. They were involved in crime. Frequently here with the psychiatrist cops, with the police intimidating, terrorizing on the psychiatric issues 12 years before I was even thrown into the psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje. Do you understand me? When I was in the United States, when I was abroad, they bombarded me with, delivered me here and using ambulance drivers to terrorize me, intimidate me, insist me about the, the future about my being thrown into the psychiatric hospital of Ljubljana Polia. This shit here that you see here, this entrance stuff, I think it goes like to year 2000. Uh, it, goes, it goes to the year like 1998, but based on police, from what I was told, they were using the real entrance to get the people in and out. Okay, and they started to use officially. They were harassing me here already, like since '98. But officially, I was told they were using the rear here, the rear of the building, to get the people into the ambulance vehicle. This is at least what they claimed to me. But this shit here, this stuff here with the ambulance vehicles, started already in 1998 with the terror here how they're going to hospitalize me, ambulance vehicle, and so on. Because the, the psychiatric threats, this shit was a lifelong experience. This was a lifelong terror. It was not out of blue that I did not go and talk about MK Ultra earlier. Anyhow, in 2010, when I started to talk about MK Ultra, just two years later, after I basically reported this, to authorities, the case of MK Ultra, I was thrown, I was still thrown into the psychiatric hospital, Ljubljana Polje. So this, this abuse, this psychiatric abuse, this disdain, disregard for the rule of law in Slovenia, in my case, this is a lifelong experience. It's a lifelong experience to which the only thing that happened was British and other Europeans joined. That's all there was. So this is where he was coming from, yeah. So this is the guy who claimed that, unfortunately, he will have to be the one, yeah. Okay, so like this. I think uh, here you can see this line here, yeah. Something that I have not seen earlier, clearly. Uh, I don't I don't see I don't see the necessity why yeah I mean I I agree that 
that there is um, something like this here. I agree that there is something like this here. I agree that that uh, um, yeah, I I I am not going to deny that that uh, I don't see that it's something like this actually that you have to do to successfully roll yourself out. I'm not denying this stuff, uh, but this is not this is not this are not this is not what. The driving skills require you to stay within within your limits and you have no right to cross the white line here. As a commercial driver you should know this. It's a fucking wheel you're operating. I know it's not a surgery you're operating. But still, uh, you know, like I said, um, you need you need to remain here. You need to remain within your white, with within your this, within within this here. You are not you are not authorized. You don't have any right to to cross the white middle lane that is dividing the road. You don't have any kind of credentials for that as an ambulance driver. Absolutely any kind. And my turn was completely correct. I'm looking actually forward to learn who has these recordings so that I can see myself what kind of a left turn have I made yesterday. I know it was not exactly the most exemplary, but it was still well acceptable. And so I know that the guy was making two false statements. One was that he didn't know go past the white lane, and the second one, the second lie he made was that I was the one who made the wrong left turn. I didn't make any fucking left turn. Everything with my left turn was okay. <laughs> 